Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Before we begin, uh, can anyone who remembers the scum bar music from The Secret of Monkey Island please play it through in their heads? Thanks guys, now I'm not the only one who's had it stuck in their head for bloody days. Sound effect! Ooh, look, it's a loot crate! They went away for a bit, but now they have returned in their black stealthy boxes, undetectable to enemy radar. Right, what lurks in- Oh, I was going to say I don't know what the uh, theme is this month. And do you know what? I don't care, because we've got a giant yellow box in the shape of the Infinity Gauntlet, look. <laughs> but it acts as a better oven glove than that one they sent us. Ooh, I went there, sister. Right, what have we got then? We've got a bloody great Mini Epics Frodo Baggins. Age 14 plus. Loot Crate exclusive. Well, it's got a faint look of the old Elijah Wood. I do mean a faint look. It's kind of a cartoony version. It's not quite a well put together little uh, sculpture, actually. There he is with Sting. His sword that glows blue when in the presence of orcs and also people with funny hats. Um, you could also have Gimli, the Mariah Orc, for, oh dear, Gollum, and the Urukai Berserker. I've got to say, I think Frodo's by far the best out of that because the others are very, very stylized and super cutie. Perhaps a little bit too stylized, whereas the Hobbit kind of gets away with it because they're not entirely dissimilar to that. Anyway, that's not bad. Um, can I open it up? No, it is sealed. Oh well, I'll get more for it selling it second hand if it's still sealed. <laughs> yeah, I probably will though because I don't kind of want it, but it is quite nice. If you want yourselves a Lord of the Rings thing and you happen to get the Frodo bag into one and not one of the others, um, this isn't a bad statue thing thingamajig. It doesn't have a base, I don't think. No, nope. it just uh, stands on your table as is. But yeah, good paint, good detailing, yeah, yeah. If I actually wanted that, I'd be pleased. But I don't, so let's have a look at the t-shirt. Which we usually do first, but I haven't this time. It's a cartoony Thanos, based on the comic design, which I do prefer. Don't understand why he took his hat off in the film and they didn't have his hat on so much. I like Thanos' hat. Anyway, it's got a nice little gold glittery thing going on. He's got a load of skulls behind him to symbolise all the people what he'd gone done murdered. And it's not white or black or one of the usual colours. It's a sort of off-white. I quite like that, actually. That's rather nifty. I like the glitteriness of it. Well done. That is a quality t-shirt. Next up... Oh god, there's not much in it. Um, the Dark Crystal set of six note cards with envelopes. And some horrible dust. This is not Loot Crate's fault. I'll tell you what this is. This is something um, that was in the bottom of the bag that I stored all the boxes in. And I think all the boxes now are going to have this weird sort of sand in them. I don't know how the bloody bag got full of sand. But yeah, it is annoying. And now it's got in everything. Ugh, also all over the sofa as well. I uh, should have checked that. Anyway. Hmm. I'm going to have to grab the old knife, which I have foolishly not had uh, particularly handy and cut into it and see what Jim Henson's Dark Crystal note cards with envelopes are actually like. And if you don't remember the Dark Crystal, it's a very interesting film. It's the old Muppet guys, Jim Henson's workshop, who made, you know, the Muppets, obviously, and Yoda, and all your favourites like that. And they did this sort of very dark tale about these little elf creatures and the Skeksis, these sort of vulture creatures who are subjugating them. I've got to say, it's a very interesting film. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's, that's quite good art on that. Not liking that, yep. Don't know who you'd send this to as a card. Somebody who really likes the Dark Crystal, probably. There they are, the, the Gelfs, was it Gelflings? I really need to uh, watch this again. There's that, that's, that's a little bit abstract. That's extremely abstract, and that's pretty abstract as well. So there's only really three you would recognize, or four even, that you'd recognize as being from the Dark Crystal. No, it was three. The fourth was merely the front. Well, that's quite a nice little thing. If you like the Dark Crystal and you want some envelopes, strange choice for stationery, but fair enough. And we have, a map of Hyrule. You know, where Link and Zelda and them live. This bloody stuff has got everywhere. It's got every nook and cranny. As uh, sand does have a tendency to do. Well, it's printed on a very sort of thin, slightly translucent, uh, glossy, almost tracing paper. Like, um, thick tracing paper. Or maybe baking paper. One of the two. Anyway, so it's so that map of Hyrule. Hmm. It appears to be based on the one I would have said from the top of my head. Is it based on the one from, uh, uh, no. No, I was going to say, I was thinking Breath of the Wild, but now there's like Deku Tree and, no. Nope. Yeah, I reckon it's probably based on another game that I don't recognise because I'm not much of a Zelda man. I did like Breath of the Wild, but there we are. Oh well, that's, that's nice. If you like your Zeldas and you like your paper maps, then uh, that's a thing, isn't it? 
not exactly super impressive, but uh, it's not a bad one. So far, the statue is the only thing we have of any particular physicality, shall we say, because, you know, note cards are a bit of a cheap one. We have a loot crate loot pin. It's their own holy grail. Hmm. That's not the cap of a carpenter. Um, and it's got a little loot crate logo hidden away on it. So, yeah, holy grail thing going on, probably. I think so. And that's your lot! Blimey, that was it. Oh, there's so much... How the hell has so much sand got in this damn thing? It's bloody everywhere. Ah, oh, I should never put it in that awful bag. Anyway, yeah, that's that's kind of that. Um, hmm, yeah. Fewer and fewer items, really. Um, at least they're high quality. Well, that was good, but I'm not entirely convinced by paper map and some note cards, and then you just got the t-shirt, the statue. There's not a lot going into these at the moment. I mean, at least the statue's good, I suppose, but hmm. Oh well. Better to have a few good items than a load of old shite like shoelaces and that, but still, hmm. Hmm. And again, hmm. Next box. Before the next box, a quick reminder to anyone who lives in the Norwich area that the Norwich Gaming Festival is on this week, and on this very Saturday at 7.30pm at Epic Studios in Magdalen Street, there is the Norwich Gaming Festival Pub Quiz, which I have co-written with Did You Know Gaming, and will be hosting it too. So do come along, it's fun. Go and find it on their website, and you can pre-book and all that to make sure you can get in. Over 18s only. There's a bar. So, next box, it's our old friends at Geek Gear. The ones who have the really cool looking boxes that look a bit like treasure chests. Right, what delights have we got? Ooh, branded tissue paper. How I've missed you. Go on then, t-shirt first. Ooh, it's got green in it. It's got, it's a Marvel thing in it. Yes, it is a Marvel design. We've got Captain America, we've got Iron Man, we've got the Incredible Fellow, we've got Hammer Bloke, we've got Black Widow Haircut Woman, and Hawkeye, who nobody cares about. Marvellous. Right, well, that's a... It's not a bad shirt, actually. Fairly understated, and it doesn't have a big logo on it, so it gets my vote. Ooh. A cushion cover. A cushion cover, you say? I seem to be getting one of these before, like those... Didn't have Iron Man on it or something? From, oh, there's two! Bloody hell. Pushing the boat out. Please tell me one's got Skeletor on it and one's got He-Man on it. That would be amazing. I can't get it open. Oh, it's that uh, Skeletor doesn't rip. Well, it did eventually. It is on there. Crikey. We have to force the way into this. It's a bloody Xenomorph! <laughs> Absolutely fantastic! A Xenomorph head from Alien. And Aliens, and to a lesser extent all the other shiny ones. Um, that's uh, interesting. What is on this one? Is it a Predator? Oh, don't tell me it's an Aliens vs Predator cushion cover collection. Holy shit, son, it is as well. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Look at it in its finery. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. So these slightly rough hessian sort of uh, cushion covers, which are hard wearing, but uh, I'm not that massive a fan because they're not that comfortable. But, oh, yeah, I might have to be using those. Those are nifty. Good work, everyone. Right, and next up, collect them all. What is it? Metal poster with unique magnet mounting system. It's a picture of Iron Man. Oh, yeah, stuck on a... <laughs> it's just a picture of Iron Man printed on a bit of metal, really, and it comes with a magnet you can stick to something, and you go, yay! Well, that's all right. Don't particularly like the picture. It's very dark. Um, hmm. Well, there. Uh, hmm. 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 And possibly even an extra. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. But it's only number 49 of 80 million or something. Oh, coin! Oh, you love me a coin! Sea of Thieves limited edition coin. Hmm. That'll be from Sea of Thieves, then. Limited to 9,995 worldwide. We lost five of them. Individually numbered, embossed on both sides, distressed edging, and antique edition. Ooh, is there a less antique edition? Is there a new edition? Who knows? I'll tell you what, though. I'm not finding it very easy to get into this. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, it's got little clips at the top. Now it all makes sense. That's nice, because it means you can reseal it afterwards. And it is... Ooh, it comes in its own plastic protector, look. Ooh, I say. And, oh, I've dropped it. That's handy, hang on. Yay, got it. Yep, it's got a compass with a skull design on one side. And it says 1487, presumably that's the uh, official number. And a big skull there. It's a big, chunky, big, chunky coin. I really like that. I always like a nice collectible coin, especially a good, chunky one. That's uh, tip-top. Don't give a flying fuck about Sea of Thieves, but I must say, that is a nice coin. <sighs> and I've got that bloody sand in here. Ah, sand. 
its core so that it gets everywhere. Anakin was right. Hashtag justice for Anakin. Right, that can go in there. And that can probably be given away as a prize at the gaming festival. Hooray! Right, I'll sort that out later. And, oh my god, a bloody great infinity gauntlet um, enamel pin. The biggest infinity gauntlet pin you'll ever get. Enamel pin XL. You're not kidding, guys. That's absolutely massive. Well, if you want a giant infinity gauntlet, that really obviously is the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, well, the comic one, which is more of a sort of leathery design, the metal one from the film. There you are. What are the other options? There's original, silver edition, and gold edition. This, I, th I think, might be the gold edition, actually. I, I honestly can't tell. Either way, it works. Hmm, I've seen worse. Um, ooh, here's a thing. Look at all the words and the pictures also. And finally, ooh, there's a picture in the bottom. You get a lot of these things with these now. It's Chris Evans as the Human Torch! Yay! No, isn't this Captain America? Well, if you wanted a nice Captain America poster um, that's exactly that size, you, you could do a lot worse. Yay! Well, personally, I quite enjoyed the coin, obviously. I really like the cushion covers. And... Um, yeah, I think that yeah, seashell wasn't bad either. Mm. Did I prefer the coin or the cushion covers? Cushion covers! Hooray! Get ready for the big boom! Boom! It's the big one! The amazing mystery box. If you remember these, these basically are, have items in that are a bit older than the ones in the other loot crates, but you get a load of it for your money. Imagine it like a sort of cool warehouse clearance or something. Anyway, inside this time we have... Oh, good God, there's so much stuff, man. <laughs> right. Doctor Who socks. If you like Doctor Who, and you have feet, then that's probably going to be, like, really positive for you, I imagine. One has the TARDIS on, and yet... So does the other. Okay, solid start. A Betty Boop talking bottle opener with three phrases. That, that that is not something I expected to see ever in my life. Why Betty Boop? I wanna be loved by you. Boop boop be doop. Mwah. Mwah. Hi, I'm Betty Boop. Okay, I don't remember her saying that, but wow, very old uh, cartoon character, Betty Boop. Wow. Um, I'm actually gonna open it, then we can hear it talk. Press to play. Oh, unfortunately it seems to have been around so long, the batteries have died. That is a small problem. I tell you what, um, we'll come back to this at the end of the video after I've run away and put batteries in it. How's about that? I shall put that on one side. Right, next up, it's a big bag of something. What the bloody hell is this? Oh my god, it's a mask! Like a... a ooh, ooh, big rubbery mask of a reptilian man. Of some sort of... Uh, Mutie, if you like. What is it from? It looks vaguely familiar, but I can't place it. Suicide Squad! Oh my god! It's, um, Killer Croc from Suicide Squad. What a film that wasn't. Um, that's interesting. Played by the same guy who played, uh, I'm trying to think, it was Heavy Duty in the first G.I. Joe film, The Rise of Cobra. Wow, there's a bit of interest for you. I'm probably sure he's done more interesting projects than those two, but there we go. Wow! Um, well. If you want to know what it looks like, it looks like this. I love horses, best of all the animals. I love horses, they're my friends. Ah, oh, no, because we haven't had enough big-headed figure things recently. Ow, oh, my tongue went through my cheek. It's bobbleheads of Iron Man. Look, you've got, like, normal Iron Man and original Iron Man. And, I don't know, underwater Iron Man or something, and Silver Centurion Iron Man or something, I don't know, with the red wire. I don't... Oh, it actually tells me on the back. Classic Red and Gold, Golden Avenger, Silver Centurion, oh, I got that right. Stealth Armor! Oh. Well, they're all quite grotesque, but if you like things with giant heads that wobble around, then, well, that's, that's for you, isn't it? T-shirt-wise, we have... Oh, my God, is this... Is this... It is a proper alien shirt! Man, I hope you're watching, Mickey. You're going to get a lot of stuff out of this one, mate. That's my friend I give alien stuff to. Um, alien, yeah, an actual chest burster t-shirt. <laughs> For recreating all your John Hurt death scenes at home. Um, and you can be either alien or space balls. There we are. That's quite good. Um, next up. Oh, man, another massive thing. What is this? Kids cushion. Oh, it's a BB-8 cushion. A, a cushion in the shape of BB-8. You can sit on him. Just just like you always wanted to. I'm actually going to open this up because it's been vacuum packed so it fits uh, in there better and overall takes up less space while being shipped around. Alright then, 
you may now escape BB-8 and inflate to your full size. Oh, it's not a bad cushion actually. Got a bit of a plump to it. Uh, it's got a very sort of uh, high quality uh, fabric-y back. A little bit of soft flog on that. And uh, yeah, the front obviously has a picture of BB-8 on it. Here he is. Yay! Man, how many massive items are in this thing? Right, next up, South Park badges. Or button pack, as they call them in America. How's it going? Fat ass. What did you say? Drugs are bad, okay? Bzzzt, wrong. Try again, dumbass. These feel very old. They're probably not, but uh, is there a year? 2008. Oh, 10 years old. Thought they were older than that. Um, yeah, well, that's South Park, isn't it? And, hmm, yes, they are badges. Hmm. Never even, I don't know, these plain badges don't do much for me these days. I know people love them. They really do. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, hmm, let me go over there. And finally, ooh, a Breaking Bad travel card holder to put your Oyster card in before you go on the London Underground or your Octopus card before you go on the Hong Kong Underground and I don't know the names of any of the other systems. Los Pollos Hermanos, the Chicken Brothers. Oh, and, and that's a bit of a shame because that's kind of a giveaway, isn't it? But just having that on its own... A little bit of a side reference to Breaking Bad is quite nice, but yeah, that giving the game away is a bit of a shame. If you need something to keep your travel card holder in, you could do a lot worse than this bright yellow one that you can actually find in your bag. Well, that was quite an impressive amount of stuff, as ever, and some of it absolutely massive. Right, let's see if we can get this Betty Boop thing to work. Well, this was jolly fun. Um, basically, there's nothing wrong with the batteries, but one of the batteries had come out of the housing a bit, and I had to pull it entirely apart to fix it, because you have to remove all the screws to uh, reach the batteries. And there are three different sizes of screw, and it involved multiple screwdrivers, and it was a pain in the bum. Anyway, are you ready for it? Creepy. Subscribe for more.